Number eight, write the ionic equation for dissolution and the solubility product, which is the KSP expression, for each of the following slightly soluble ionic compounds. And then we're starting off with PbCl2. So the first thing we have to do is we have to write out the ionic equation for dissolution. Dissolution means that we're just going to be dissolving this compound into its ions, hence an ionic equation. Now just know that if you have a slightly soluble ionic compound, that means that you're starting off with a solid. Slightly soluble means that only a small amount will break down into its ions. So here we go. We have to start off with our salt here or our ionic compound, the uh, lead 2 chloride, so Pb, Cl2. They said it was slightly soluble, so this has to be a solid. And since it's going to break down a little bit, it's still going to be in equilibrium, so I still need to see those double arrows. And now I just have to write out the two ions that these form into. Well, this is going way back to general chem, right, all the way in the beginning, where we had to basically break apart a compound. This is the break, right, between the lead, the PB, and the CL. So I have a PB and a CL. Now remember, these are going to be your ions, so we need to have the charges. But you could use the crisscross rule. There was only one PB and two chlorines. This one crisscrosses up, telling me that the chlorine was supposed to be a negative one charge. So negative one. And then this two crisscrosses up to the lead or the PB, telling me that this was a plus two. So plus two. Okay, since we have charges on the products, that's going to be aqueous. And now you just have to balance it. Keep in mind that you did have two chlorines in the beginning, so I have to say that I have two Cl minuses. And this is your first answer to the question. Write the ionic equation. Here it is. Now we just have to take this ionic equation and turn it into the solubility product expression. Well, any K value, right, whether it's a Ka or Kb or Kc, which we've seen in chapters before, it just has to do with products divided by reactants. But the Ksp is a little bit easier because we don't have to worry about the, uh, the, the reactants because it's a solid. Remember, no solids or liquids included. But we could just memorize this equation by just knowing that it's this. Right? KSP will always just equal the concentration of the products. So I only have two things here, PB, 2 plus, and the Cl minus 1. So let's write it out. The solubility product, KSP, will equal the concentration of, and it doesn't matter which one you start with, but I'll just do the lead first. So PB, 2 plus, times the concentration of Cl minus, and now you always have to raise both of them to their coefficients. Keep in mind that you did have two chlorines, so I have to raise the chlorine one to the second power. But since I only had one lead, I don't have to, you know, it is raised to the first, but anything raised to the first is the same thing. So this would be your KSP, solubility product expression, and then this would be the balanced equation. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for reading the video. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and let's keep doing more problems together. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye-bye.